Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I want to create a project. I want to install the package for the authentication and I'm going to use Laravel Breeze for that. And then I'm going to create the models and migrations. Okay, so first here in the, we are in the Laravel documentation, uh, website, sorry. Let's go to the documentation and to create a project with Laravel, you can. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Create a project using a composer. So composer create project Laravel slash Laravel in the name of the uh, project or if you have installed the Laravel installer, just Laravel new and the name of the project. And then, if you have a Docker installed and you want to work with Docker, you can use this and here you can specify the name of the project. Okay. I have installed the Laravel installer and I'm going to use this command. And of course, I'm going to install the Laravel Breeze and I want to install in one go. So let's open the terminal and here I'm going to say Laravel new and I'm going to name it event dash dash breeze the install also the breeze and here we have to ask what, which breeze stack do you prefer I'm going to use blade but if you want to use react view and api you can choose that so let's select zero here so the react and view is with the uh, inertia hit enter now which test in framework also zero again for past and let's say yes for the dark mode and now it's going to create the project okay so now the application is ready so let's cd in the event here we are now let's open the project with the vs code I'm going to zoom it and the first thing go to the .env file and by default the database name is based on the name of the project so we need to create this database and I'm going to open the table class and do that open table class create new event okay and I'm going to Cancel then quit now for now we don't need that and then let's create the models and the migration so for that I'm going to open the terminal here and let's say artisan make so the artisan is alias for php artisan okay make model and the name of the model is going to be the first one country and also I'm going to create the migration for that so hit enter we are okay now let's create also the city model and migration then I'm going to create the event event model and migration next one we have the booking or attending what you like I'm going to use attending like this hit enter then we have comment so let's also create comment 
then one is going to be the gallery next one is going to be the light okay the next one is going to be the save event and the last one is going to be the tags so let's say here tag okay go to the app models and yeah here we have attending city comment country event gallery like and so on so i named this attending but also you can name uh, booking and this list is uh, i have asked the chat gpt to create a laravel event project and the chat gpt suggests me the list and the chat gpt named a uh, booking but I prefer the name attending. Now it's up to you, it's not the problem, just the name. Okay, now let's open the project on the browser. So if I say event.test here, yeah, here is the project. We have login and register because we have installed the Laravel Breeze. And if you use uh, Windows, you need to open in the localhost 8000. And here you don't have the, this event.test, but you have local host, something like this. Okay, that's it about this video, friends. I hope you enjoy, and don't forget, if you, if you like the video and like the tutorials I made, subscribe to my channel and like the video and share with your friends. All the best.